Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Prez Pickle, and welcome to the world of the future. So, this game is called Tidal Ecology. I quite like it. I've played it before, so hopefully, well, yep, yeah, I'll be able to show you what the game is about. And, um, yeah, so what it's about is... Um, I think it's based in the future, from what I've seen, because a lot of people think it's out in space, but if you look outside the actual thing, there's a lot of water. Uh, but it's you have a huge something called a biodome, where it has your own little scenery area, which I really like, So I, and it's really cool. And what you do is you place down your animals, and you try to get a good place for those animals to live so let's hop right in name your profile press pickle and let's get to it so i think uh we should start off i have the himalayan forest expansion pack <clears throat> so i think we should start there so let's turn a tutorial let's keep it on just to show you so let's create biodome title ecology so the basics golden title ecology i'm albert and he'll be acting as a curator for your biome Biodomes. He can grow and maintain your very own ecosystem. It looks pretty empty now, but don't worry. It'll be home to all sorts of plants and animals soon. Let's take a look around. Okay, let's use the WASD keys. Now, uh, hold the shift button to move faster. Hold right click and drag to rotate the camera. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in or out. From a control elevation, you can use Q and E. Yeah, it takes some time to look around your biodome. Yeah, when you're ready to move on, press continue. Okay. Adding life, you're able to add many cool animals and plants to your biodome. You'll be able to unlock them and learn about all these species over time. So this is basically what you do. So you want to place a consumer down. And what consumers do is consumers eat plants and animals. So they're like worms and they help the plants and animals because so you don't want to do a lot of dead animals crowding your place so you want to you want to get down a consumer so actually no it's not a consumer I've just yeah I've just messed it up well then that was first let's so click on the terrain to place the terrain okay here we go let's place it Ooh, let's see. I sort of want to put it here. Yep, yeah, put it there. And I'm going to start building a nice little civilization of animals. And you'll see it then. Okay, guys, we're up to naming our biodome. And uh, so it's Himalayan. So let's call it... How about... Let's just call it... Snowy Plains. So let's go. Yeah, let's begin. Okay, let's keep building. So this is what we got so far. Let's take a cool little picture of them. They're sleeping. They're so cute. Oh, those peekers. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, I love this game's art style. It's very good. So it looks like our decomposer is working. Uh, so. We're going to stop speeding up time. We're going to place in a couple more stuff. So what you have is you have these. And I'm not sure exactly what their name is. Let's just call them tokens. So yeah, they're probably called tokens. And um, what tokens do is you can unlock stuff. So I think that what we should do is we are going to unlock... a. Red pandas are herbivores. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get a red panda, and then we're going to get a tree for the red pandas, because red pandas like trees. That's like a number one thing. So let's get a pomegranate tree, and let's pome get pomegranate tree. Then let's place a nice couple of them, and uh, I'm going to spruce up the place. Get it, spruce. That was really, 
lousy pun, but I'm going to spruce up the place, and we're going to move in a predator, and we're also going to move in the red pandas, because red pandas are cool, and everyone should know that by now. So, let's do that, and just quickly before we do that, look at how cute the red pandas are. And look at that. Oh, oh, zoomed in too much. Let's just take a picture of that. That looks good. And I'm going to get to work, and I'm going to quickly make ourselves a small little environment. And then we should be good from there. And then we're going to start expanding. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so I haven't really done that much. But this is what we've got so far. So we've got this uh, red fox territory. Which still the red fox can go eat, but it can't eat everything. As the red pandas can now retreat, and so can the pikas. So I think that's good, uh, and hopefully those foxes will get the population of these down a bit, but they won't drastically reduce it. Let's actually try to spot a fox. Is that one? No, that's that that's the lone red panda. Bow, 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 bow. Lone red panda. Okay, uh Where where are these foxes at? Where are these foxes? They're like spooky scary foxes. They're meant to be spooky scary. But I don't know there's a fox. Okay, Fox One, is he running at an animal? He's about to eat the animal. Let, let's see, there's, there's the other fox. Closing in on their prey, probably. The wild fox stalks its prey and then eats it in one go. Both foxes can now start a family. I'm just kidding. There can only be a maximum of two foxes because that's the rules. See? Oh no, there can be four foxes. Well then. Uh, oh, that's not looking good. Four of eight of these? How many? Three out of five. Those foxes. So, where's the other? Oh, monthly income. Nice. So, we can, I believe, we can now unlock a new animal. Correct. Uh, no, incorrect. So we can't actually unlock anything at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep trying to increase this place. And I really wish that this game had like a little terrain tool editor. Much like the uh, Sims has. But, yeah, I, I can't get everything that I want, can I? That's not, that's not how life works. Words of wisdom right there. Get your notebooks and write that down. Yeah. Yeah. Go get your note. Go go get your notebook. The notebooks. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Go. Go. Okay. Good for you. Okay, so I've been waiting for around two minutes now, and I haven't gotten any money, so I'm going to check through this, uh, and this is the Biodex. It shows a lot of things, and it's, it's really informative. Uh, this is the map, so you can actually unlock different zones for 50 tokens. I only have 10 at the moment, as you saw there. And, uh, you can now look at this, which are these are the things. So, um, place five animal territories, that's one of the things, and we get 30 from that, uh, which is what I think I might do now. And, yeah, so, we actually need, I think we want more peekers. Actually, we would more want moths, because they, what moths do is they pollinate. Meaning that the other animals get more food. And I don't want to put these lot of peekers there. There we go. That's five lots of animals. Isn't it? 
Yeah, there we go. Consumers paradise. And let's decorate this area for all these little peekers. And uh, let's unlock some new stuff. So I think that we have 47 to use. So bamboo has hardly any fruit. Which you can see there, so fruit is just how much they can actually eat the plant. And leaf is pretty much the durability. As you can see, pomegranate has a lot of fruit, but no leaf. So I think I'm going to go with Goji. Goji. And we'll place it over here so that they can interact with the moths. And hopefully those moths will start to pollinate it. Oh, let's see how these foxes are doing. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Pretty good. Let's try to look at one. See how it's going. Is there a fox near here? No, nope, they're all red pandas. There's some peekers and... There's a fox. Ooh, dead peeker. We need some decomposers around here. So let's just do that. And red fox. 86% hunger. Eh, he can survive on that. But it looks to me like our biodome at the moment is doing quite well. Uh, and I just had a really good thought. And that was if I placed down like this is meant to be snow and I really don't like that I'm placing down trees in the snow. Even though trees do grow in the snow, I've placed down a lot. And that's cool, but I'm going to make like a little condensed area here with lots of animals. And they're going to make the predator area. And I'm going to get different zones. And I'm going to make those zones. And yeah, so I might as well do that now. And I'll see you guys. Well, I won't necessarily see you and you won't necessarily see me. But you'll hear me. And you'll see what I've done after I do the, those things. Yeah. Okay guys, so I've done this little area and that's herbivore area. So we are about to unlock a new herbivore for it. The Marmot. So here we go, we got him. And oh my goodness, I love this game so much. Oh god, I'm they look so cute. They look like little chipmunks. And oh, okay, we're out of nowhere. But this game is amazing. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to keep zoning off this area. And you can see I added a lot of trees around here. So there's this area, which is a nice little herbivore area of all the trees. And then over here we have sort of like the barren area where we have... The old Koji, ooh, they've been eaten. Then we have the John joint fur. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to keep placing these in. And as I said before, I would really like it if this game had a terrain editor. Uh, so, yeah. Now, this looks amazing. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. I have really high hopes for this game. It's such a good game. I love it. It is by far one of my favourite games. You have to create your own ecosystem. I would highly recommend anyone to get this game. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. And this has been Pres Pickle. Goodbye.